So we're just going to go through some kicking base exercises um, that are really handy to have. Um, even if you do sort of a couple of minutes a day, you're going to really help your kicking, your balance, um, your placement of where the foot's going, stuff like that. And just breaking down the whole move and just slowing it down. Because sometimes when you're training, you're just kicking, kicking, kicking. Uh, when you kick boxing, maybe kicking on the bag, and not, you know, the technique needs to be sort of broken down sometimes just so you can get that extra bit of efficiency from your kicking base. Um, I mean, Bruce Lee used to sort of, you know, he'd be putting on his trousers and doing a kicking drill, something like that. But again, just it could be sort of, you know, standing on one leg when you're cleaning your teeth, something like this. Just a few minutes a day, soon mount up for your drill time. Um, so it's going to start off uh, just for the, going through the basics and I'm going to change the angle where the camera is just so it's more on the foot so you can see the chambering um, but mate, basically it's just say we're going to go to your roundhouse kick let's go, actually let's go for the front kick so again just pretty much lifting the leg there okay again that's the first part of the move just, just spend a bit of time on the one leg and then you're sort of extending through the hips. You're trying to keep your shoulders over hips, head over shoulders with all these. You don't want to be sort of leaning back. Again, your balance. You're thinking of your balance. Um, if you're back here, you know, when you're tired, you might have a tendency to lean back and lose control. So we want to be shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. And again, from here, there's the first move, the knee, and extending out the foot. You might want to later on extend through the hip of the back leg, the back basin leg. Okay, but again, so we come from the floor, one, two, three, and then back down. Okay, again, once you get used to this, you can just sort of, you know, hang on that back leg for a bit. There, maybe we'll do a couple up there. One to 10, maybe. Then extending and gathering in, just holding that balance. Okay, again, switching over the egg, legs, and then Mia Gary, the front kick. Again, I'm going to show you this angle. We're just going to push through. Again, sort of like a teak kick or a snap kick, what you want to call it. Again, from here, you might want to be just extending out the toes. So go on a sort of at an angle here, so you can see the extending of the toes. Here, one, two, three, four. You might go back to the floor or take the toes just down towards the floor and back up again and back out when you're ready. Again, that's just for the front kick. Um, again, roundhouses, the kickboxing style of roundhouses, not the tie boxing one. Again, you're going to be chambering on the back legs. So you're going to be opening and closing the door on your back leg as the lead leg kicks. So again, from here, knee comes high and you come out again in step of the foot. Back and back down again and sort of like a cat starts with the toe on the ground here back and then forth again just breaking it down through the moves again same deal you might want to stay on that back leg for a while and just get a few out here and back again chamber on the back leg and back so I'm going to change the angle so you can see that chambering on the back leg so again I'm going to go through that here. Again, this foot is going to come to here. So you might want to get a bit of practice just doing this. Turning and coming back. Okay, turning and coming back on that back leg. And then turning, knee high, instep comes out and back. Opening and closing the door, same as the other leg. So again, you might want to just be here. Just get used to that chamber in the back leg. You can just do this for a while, breaking down. The basics. You haven't always got time to do this in training because you're you know, trying to have a workout, etc. You, you might have be on the bag or sparring. So again, these are really good things to get in your mind and get the right technique in. So again, chamber on that back leg, knee high, come out, then back. If you're having trouble, you can always come down to a cat stance here. Or you could go here and back, here and back. Okay, here and back once you put all the moves together. You might even want to use the four finger rule, um, taking a finger off at a time and getting used to this, or a chair, holding the chair, taking
taking a finger off at a time, so you're on one finger again, coming back and forth. Again, you might want to just hold it out there for a bit. Hold it here. You know, spend as long as you can, maybe 30 seconds. So that's the roundhouse there. Same as the side kick. Again, same deal. This chamber in the back leg, especially with the lead. If, if I'm an orthodox fighter, this is my lead leg. Okay, again, I want to just chamber my back leg. Then point the knee and stab with the heel and come back and down. Okay, again, and then you put it all together. Okay, but at the moment we're breaking it down into four moves. So again, we chamber this back leg, this right leg, this right rear leg, take the knee high, stab the heel, retrace, and back down. So we're getting the whole retrace of the move coming all the way back down. Obviously, when you're doing it, normally it'd be coming out and back in one move. But again, you might want to just bring this down to a cat start so the toe's on the floor, and come back, out, and back. Or after a while, you want to leave the whole foot of the floor. Here, back, and go again. Chambering this back leg. Okay. Um, so yeah, just sh showing the lower levels there, so you can get that whole move in. If you want to go for sort of like a donkey kick, something like that, you might want to again move this lead leg as well as chambering the back leg to get that back kick. So again, you want to just chamber the back leg, which is the rear right leg. Again, you might want to turn on the toes of this lead leg here, then knee high, and come out here. So it's side kicks here, but again from here you're turning the back, I come forward, a bit short space here. So again I'm going to turn here, knee high again, and come out here on the foot and back down. Okay, same as the rear leg, you know, I want to be chambering here, turning on my toes, knee high, and coming out here, and back down. Okay, so it's a backward kick there. Same here, you might want to just do some base work here for a while, and get your crescent kicks, so you're coming out this way and back this way and back. Another little tip, if you're having trouble, as well as the four finger rule, taking a finger off at a time, so you're just on your little finger, another way, you can just help yourself a little bit, and then just come out here. And then, bit by bit, take a finger off the leg. So you're on one, you're on one finger, doing here, or here. There's all progressions to these, okay, if you can't get straight into them. More balance drills there. So, again, good little drills to do. Uh, just so when you're in the heat of battle, you're really tired, you can throw a kick with balance, poise, and have some accuracy with your kicks so they're not just so wild. Because again, in the heat of battle, you just need something you drilled and drilled and drilled over and over and over. You've got the adrenaline going, you're knackered, Again, stuff like this that you drilled into your motor area of your brain will just come out more naturally. Um, and again, balance is everything. Really, you haven't got balance, you haven't got anything. Um, basic rule of all life. Bang.